The new Moonshiner role in Red Dead Online is the newest addition to the game that brings a bunch of new ways to go about playing Red Dead while also making money for your character, having a great time, and preparing for the next DLC update, which is most likely going to cost more, so you should always keep that in mind. Between a 25 gold bar roll and a 40 gold bar outlaw pass this update, maybe you're looking to rank up the Moonshiner roll to at least prepare yourself on the Red Dead Online money front so you can open up more time for yourself to accumulate lots of gold before the next update arrives sometime maybe spring of 2020. So in this particular video, we're going to cover how exactly we can progress through the Moonshiner roll the fastest. As I've discussed in my previous videos so far, this roll follows the same unlock and rank progression system like all the other rolls. The Moon Moonshiner consists of 20 ranks, with each rank taking 2,000 roll XP to level up, and there are various business upgrades and character unlocks like perks and equipment to help you in the general online and not just specific to your own Moonshining enterprise. So how do we get through all of this new content in the most efficient way possible with the use of a few quick tips in mind? Well, I want to break down some tips here in this video on how to best maximize your playtime to get you from Moonshiner rank 1 to Moonshiner rank 20 as fast as possible and as efficiently as possible. I'll be giving you guys my own best tips, so as we go along here in this video, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be sure to help out where I can. Is there anything in particular you guys are looking for extra help on in regards to the Moonshiner roll or even the Outlaw Pass? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below, and of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Red Dead Online on a daily basis. So let's start off with general production tips. Always sell the highest quality moonshine possible. Weak moonshine is a big grind, but average and strong moonshine is a lot more fun. Typically, so far what I noticed with the weak moonshine when I was trying to sell that is I wasn't making much money at all. And honestly, while you're ranking up the whole Moonshiner roll, you shouldn't really necessarily do it to make money. Once you reach max level, or at least get access to strong Moonshine by upgrading your still, that is where the money starts to flow in with this roll. So always sell the highest quality Moonshine possible. Make sure at level five, you get access to the average Moonshine. And at level 10, make sure you get access to the strong Moonshine. Now the second tip, always flavor your Moonshine. It is absolutely worth it. More money and more XP from those specialist buyers is good for anyone. The third tip, do not drink moonshine from the bar. Drink it from the barrels if you must, because drinking from the bar directly will actually slow your distillation process, thus taking longer to sell the moonshine, and thus not ranking up as fast. And we want to do that as fast as possible, of course, the purpose of this video. So if you are at the bar with your friends or your posse or your squad, make sure to drink it from the barrels. I know it's fun to drink it from the bar, but it is slowing your distillation in the process. Now, let's get into the real good tips here on how to maximize your XP and lower your cost during production. Run bootlegging missions as frequently as you can, because they do in fact lower your mash cost for production, and if you run enough while your current production is active, your next one can be as cheap as $10. Do a bounty or stranger or even work on trader in between your bootlegging missions since you can't hit them back to back to back. There is a 15 minute cooldown timer in between each bootlegging mission. You can do up to three bootlegger missions to reduce the cost of your mash by $20 at a time and then at the end of that your mash will only cost you $10. So you can get about one bootlegger mission in for the weak moonshine, and then after 15 minutes you can start selling, two for the average moonshine, and upwards of three bootlegging missions for the strong moonshine in the amount of time that you're actually producing and distilling that moonshine. Also keep in mind, you probably just want to get started on a new batch and not worry about the cost of mash too much because trying to do more bootlegging missions while also delaying another potential $150 plus dollar average moonshine sell or another $250 plus dollar strong moonshine sell isn't really worth the cost of trying to get the cost of the mash down by another $10 to $30. So definitely keep that in mind. Now let's talk about some tips to maximize your XP and maximize your profit during your sell and delivery process. When you sell, make sure to drive the wagon very carefully. And I know that sounds really stupid, but you have to take this seriously because with the moonshine roll, when you're delivering your moonshine, when you go off trail or even go over bumps or take turns too fast, you lose stock. With this roll, you do not make more money or get more XP for rushing, at least in the direct sense. So definitely take those corners slow, avoid going straight over railroad tracks or through streams, etc. Now for example here, I had my first moonshine shack in the Grizzlies, 
It's a really awesome location for shining, but I'm constantly selling to Valentine, meaning I have to go through the Cumberland Falls waterfall all the time, and I always end up losing at least one bottle of moonshine, even for a perfect run otherwise. So now I switch my location to the bayou, which has smooth trails, and I don't run into any issues at all besides the revenue agents. Now, speaking of revenue agents, another tip, you wanna make sure you're stopping for those checkpoints. You can try to blast your way through, but I wouldn't recommend that with this role. Again, because you don't get any extra money or XP for trying to deliver it as fast as possible, and you also don't get any extra money or XP for delivering it as slow as possible either, but just be careful around these agents and these revenue agent roadblocks, because if they attack your wagon and they shoot it and it takes damage, you will lose some moonshine. Thus, of course, again, lowering your XP and your profit. So, some other miscellaneous tips, and then I'm gonna talk about some other things and kind of go off script here, but you will not get kicked for inactivity just by standing in your moonshine shack. So, if you forget to open your catalog, you can still be AFK and producing moonshine at the same time. Another very important tip here, or just something to note, this is a totally passive role. Yes, the moonshine, at the, especially at the lower, weak moonshine level, doesn't sell for much at all. It's a huge sunk cost especially if you're not running bootlegging missions to lower the mash cost as well, then it costs a lot. But I still think the mash is overpriced anyway, and I still think it's too easy to lose moonshine stock along the route of your delivery, but you can literally just sit in your moonshine shack and wait for your moonshine to produce and then sell it. So if you're looking to do homework or maybe just working from home or anything else, as long as you check back in when you need to, you can initiate moonshine distillation, flavor your moonshine if you'd like, and then sell 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour later, depending on if your moonshine is a of weak, average, or of strong quality. Now, I think a lot of people are going to come around to this role once they start ranking it up because it is, in fact, perhaps the easiest and the best role for your time, with the exception of the collector using the updated god map, of course. Now, these are just some things I wanna talk about here. Those are a lot of tips I had to give you guys, but especially after this second night of playing live streaming, also on Twitch, I'm live every single day on twitch.tv. The Moonshiner is super amazing. I urge you guys to please give it a chance, rank it up past the weak Moonshine, get the average or the strong Moonshine, get access to those because that is where the money starts flowing in. This is definitely the most passive role. You can multitask in so many different ways, all right? So if you want, say you actually want to get your mash to as low of a cost as possible. You want to do a bunch of bootlegging missions like we talked about, right? And there's a 15 minute cooldown in between those. So what you're going to want to do is get your current mash going, get your current moonshine going. Once you sell during that process, you can run a bootlegging mission and then in between do some bounties and drag out the timer. Just do one bounty, drag out the timer until the last three minutes, hunt some animals for your trader. That way you can make progress for your trader, get some gold in the process doing a bounty, and then also drag the timer out so you can wait until you can do another bootlegging mission again and you don't have to sit around waiting to get that objective prompt to pop up again. So you can do so many different things. Do a bootlegging mission and in that 15 minutes of downtime before you can start another do a bounty do a stranger mission do a little hunting or do all three of them at the same time if you want do another bootlegging mission again and again you can get through that a bunch of times and then you can sell your moonshine after an hour if you're producing the strong moonshine and just rinse and repeat that process basically if you're just going to be playing the game no matter what you're doing you could even go collecting during this time if you want but as long as you're in the game playing always have your moonshine being in production because unlike trader you don't have to do anything else you just need to buy the mash if you can get over the cost of, you know of course it's expensive but if you can get over the cost of the mash i think you will greatly greatly enjoy this role because you will be making a lot of money and ranking up super, super fast. I know people have their complaints and concerns with the Moonshine role payouts and XP requirements thus far, and with some things I definitely agree, but these are the cards we are dealt currently, so just bear these tips and tricks in mind. Take the tips into account to help you do this better, to do it a little bit faster and a little bit more efficiently. And a big disclaimer here, if you are looking to take your time with this new content and go at a super slow pace, that's most likely why lots of people weren't necessarily prepared for the 25 gold bar roll in the first place. And that cycle will continue unless you keep your mind open to new information on how to be an effective Red Dead Online player and not just wander around in the woods being as unproductive as possible. But all in all, that is where we're gonna wrap it up. These were my tips on how to rank up Moonshiner roll extremely fast. 
Are you going to be implementing any of these tips? Let me know in the comments section down below. I also really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Red Dead Online and RDR2 Moonshiners. Updates, news, information, tips, tricks, leaks, all the good stuff. We've got you covered here on the channel. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single bit of it. Again, thank you so much for the continued support on all of my recent Red Dead Online videos I post here on my channel. I truly do appreciate you all and I'm glad you all are enjoying and staying in the loop with what's going on in the game. I love playing the game so much and although I take more of an objective approach to new content, trying to rank up stuff as fast as possible because I believe the real payoff comes down the road when you've achieved max level, you have all the experience under your belt and all the knowledge at your fingertips now and that's when you can really just chill and still make a ton of money without necessarily dragging out the leveling process of the role for no reason. Yes, it's fun to take your time and level it up, but when you hit rank 20, it doesn't just end there. Now you have everything, and now you're really the best moonshiner in the Wild West. So that's where I believe you can really have fun and nothing will be a drag at all. This content is built to be replayed hundreds of times over after achieving level 20 and maxing the rank. And going that extra mile is exactly how players accumulate enough gold and money for the next update. So with that said, again, I hope that this will help those players who may not necessarily have the time or the motivation to keep going once they hit max moonshiner level. To stay up to date a little further, follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube practically live on all of those platforms and I live stream every single day on twitch.tv slash hazardous HDTV. If you guys want to strike up a conversation with me, whatever it may be, my links can be found in the description down below. And with that said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next Red Dead Online Moonshiners video. Adios amigos.